What's your name, mate? Todd. Todd? Yeah. Where about you from? Kent. From Kent? Yeah. Where in Kent? Folkestone. Okay, nice. How old are you? 32. 32. Yeah, man. What was it like for you growing up in Folkestone? I had a tough upbringing, really tough upbringing. Yeah, I had it hard when I was a kid. Yeah, no. I had it hard when I was a kid. Yeah. In what ways could you just elaborate to us? My dad was a violent alcoholic. Okay. Yeah, he was a bully. Bullied my mum. Yeah, he's not a nice person, you know what I mean? Hard person to live with. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I've got a, like, a full brother and sister and a half sister. Six. Two sisters and one brother. Oh, I see, I see. And are uh, you still in contact with them? Yeah, I see them every now and again, every couple of months. Yeah. They're in Kent as well, so it's like far for them to travel, far for me to travel for us to see each other. So you still sort of have a relationship with them? I'm trying to, like, keep the relationship going, but it's hard, you know what I mean? Yeah, my mum, she's good. She's a good person. She's always tried her hardest for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, you still talk to her? Yeah. So how does she feel um, about your situation? She doesn't really know, to be honest. She doesn't know? Not really, not everything. I don't want to disappoint her, to be honest. Appointment what? I don't want to disappoint her. I don't want her, like, thinking of me as... A low life druggie, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you being young, who was you like as a child? Was he was you adventurous? Was you yeah, just like a normal kid, like like my football, yeah. like climbing, and like in teenage years, I was into snooker and pool and stuff. Yeah, liked all that. Yeah, loved swimming, all that. I was active, you know what I mean? So at what age did you, I don't know, started taking drugs? What was the first thing you started taking, if you can remember? Yeah, cannabis. Cannabis. At what age did you start doing that? 14, 15. Like 14, 15, yeah. And you did that for approximately how long? All my life, I only really stopped a couple of years ago. Oh, I see. So what led from cannabis to what you're doing now? Just different circle of people, different company. Keep different company, people that do different things, you end up doing the same things as the people you're with, don't you? It's bad, you was it something that you always wanted to do? Something that you was forced into doing? Um, was you peer pressured into it? I was offered it and it's too weak willed to say no at the point where I was offered it. I was in a bad place mentally and I just split up with my wife. I wouldn't get to see my kids. And yeah, I was just offered it at a bad point in my life and So you was married? For what, I was with my wife for twelve years, yeah. Twelve years of you know. Two so children. You young then when you got with her. So yeah. what happened to the marriage? She cheated on me. And I left. So would you say that led you to, to where you are now? Yeah, it played a part. Played a big part. Mm. So what's it like for you um, and the addiction? Monotonous, just keep going around in circles every day. Just like begging, get money, score, smoke. Just do that loads of times a day. I'm stuck in a rut at the moment, to be honest. And how much a day do you think you smoke? On a bad day, I get about 200 pounds. And on a good day, I get about 800. 800? A day, yeah. Uh, how do you get that much money? So asking people, ask people for money. So people give you eight hundred pound a day. Not just one person will give you eight hundred. It's like someone will give you a pound, someone will give you a fiver, someone will give you a two p, someone will give you a tenner. It all mounts up throughout the course of the day. Adds up to that much in a day. What do you smoke, sir? Crack, heroin, cannabis. Um, do you 
you just swap it in a pipe or do you inject yeah. it? No, I hate needles, I don't like needles. Okay. I see you got a bit of a swing on, on, on your foot. What happened there? Well, I stood on some glass and it got infected. It was really painful. I can't even wash my foot without like it hurts too much. <laughs> can't do nothing with it at the moment. Struggling to walk. Why are you not wearing shoes? Don't know. Just prefer not wearing them. I had a pair of shoes that was too small for me, they really hurt my feet and I took them off and threw them away and the little period of time where I had no shoes, I just never ended up putting them back on. Like I was 14 and a half stone at one point before I started the drugs. Yeah? About 11 stone now, yeah. Lost so much weight, it's unreal. So you were a bit sporty then, as a child? Yeah, I used to like for uh, circuit training and... Yeah, it was good, it was good. You see the people that introduced you to taking the hard drugs, are you still in contact with them? No, they're from Kent. They're from Kent, yeah? So you yeah. don't see them all? I moved here in London to get away from all that and I just fell in with the same group of people that I was with before. If you had to go back, would you do the same thing again? No. The drugs, like the hard drugs is the biggest mistake of my life. Yeah, it's so hard to stop. I want to stop more than anything, it's just hard. Probably sounds stupid because if you want something enough then you get it, don't you? But I don't know, it's just got me by the balls, struggling. Don't necessarily understand it. We like to know this. How does it feel? Like, what is the feeling that you get from taking it? Just like the cracks, just a rush, like a big adrenaline rush. It's an intense rush, and the heroin is just it's the exact opposite. Just really intense, drowsy feeling. You don't, you don't still to me in the market to buy it, do you? Never. Mm. I used to work, I used to do scaffolding. Yeah. Yeah, just make more money begging. It's a lot more lucrative, you know what I mean? Do you really want to stop? The drugs, yeah. Do you really, 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 really want to stop? Yeah. Have you ever tried to stop? No. Can you see yourself stopping? I've got I've got two children. I can't be a heroin addict and a crackhead all my life. Yeah, but I understand that, but do you see yourself stopping? Because you said you've got two children, I understand that, but do you see yourself stopping? Yeah, at some point. I can't keep going the way I'm going. I just need help. There's not enough help out there. but not hard enough. So he literally falls down onto you basically, is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Do you think the government is doing enough? No. What, what sort of help would you like them to do that you're not receiving at the moment? Because they might be watching this and then they might, they might want to help or they might want to fix, fix their ways. Um, I'm not sure. Um, just for people to be more understanding of how hard it is to stop and not think it's... It's not easy, I mean, it is hard. I want people to understand how hard it is and not to be patronising. If you like, can't just stop straight away. Just the heroin, you try to stop the heroin, it makes you physically sick. But you can't just stop straight away, not without help. And there's only one place in the whole of London that I know of that gives you 
the methadone script or a subutex script, like the medication to help you stop the heroin, the same day. Everywhere else it takes about a week. Yeah, it is hard. And the people that are there to help, they don't like, they don't make you feel comfortable or at ease. They're just patronising. Well, just make me feel like belittled or whatever, you know what I mean? Two inches tall. People said that there wouldn't be as much money and as much people about, but I'm just doing just as well as I was before. Is it still easy to get the drugs? Is there more of it? Is there less of it? Is just it the same. Up? Just the same. Exactly the same. Nothing has changed. Not really. If there's somebody out there watching you now, I don't know, a young child, someone who who's interested or someone's offered him something, what would you like to say to them? Take a look at me, this is what it turned me into. Was, I've let myself go so badly and this is what is the result of seven years of constant drug abuse has done to me. Yeah, sweet.